All right, so today I'm flying out in the practice area, which is, uh, it's, you know, I leave out of Anchorage, cross into Anchorage departure airspace, and then you go out into Wasilla, it's a little bit less crowded. You can practice maneuvers and, and stuff like that. Uh, it ended up being a really crowded day. I spent a lot of time waiting to take off. Uh, when I went out there to practice maneuvers, I had to kind of cut it short, partly because there was, a, there was a little bit of turbulence, but then also partly because there was a lot of traffic coming from each direction. So I, I went out there to do a turn around a point, S turns and slip to land. And um, I basically just, uh, I hit each one of those one time. I would have liked to do each one multiple times, but time constraints and turbulence and all that, you know, you do what you can. So yeah, all in all, it was a great day flying, good, uh, good weather. Could have been, uh, could have been a little bit less turbulence, but for Alaska, this is pretty good. To start out, I do my checklist in the parking area, then you pull up a little bit so the tower can see you and you call for clearance. After you get clearance, so you can taxi up to the runway. So this was a Saturday, and the thing about flying in the wintertime in Alaska, a lot of bad weather days. So when you get a really great weather day like this, and it's beautiful out, and it's on a Saturday, pretty much everybody that has a plane wants to go out flying. I ended up getting stuck in traffic just sitting here for, a, for about 15 full minutes. I wish I had the audio adapter for, uh, for my headset to the GoPro so you could hear the ATC. It took about five solid minutes just for me to call up and ask for clearance. It was just nonstop traffic on the radio. This last diamond, they came in really high, they ended up doing a go around. All right, so finally I got my clearance and I'm good to take off. Didn't want to waste any time to get up there because there was people coming in straight behind me. I've been practicing uh, short field and soft field takeoffs and landings as well. But today I just did a normal takeoff. So since I'm going out to the practice area, I'm doing something called an inlet departure. Do a normal takeoff and climb up to about 700 feet and then instead of turning into the downwind leg, you just continue that turn. You head straight out over downtown Anchorage over Cook Inlet. Once you get up around Cook Inlet, you need to contact Anchorage, Anchorage Approach, Anchorage Departure, get clearance. Almost as soon as I hit the practice area, like right across Cook Inlet, it started in with the turbulence. So the idea here is uh, I want to fly out further into the valley area. Once you get up over that farmland, normally there's not as much air traffic and you're free to, you're free to do maneuvers. It's kind of hard to make out here, but um, if you notice that the 
the plane doesn't look very stable and is kind of wiggling around, that's that's the turbulence. So the entire time I was out in this area, there was consistent light turbulence that was rocking the plane. All right, so I did some quick clearing turns, uh, 90 degrees to the left and 90 degrees to the right. Didn't see any traffic around me, so I set up to do a slip to land. Um, basically just entered a, a slip posture to dump a little bit of my uh, momentum and drop some altitude. So I got started with uh, the first S turn here. It's a pretty simple concept. You're basically you're picking a landmark on the ground. In this case, it's a road, and I want to be crossing the road perpendicular. And then after I cross the road, I do a turn, come back over perpendicular again, and you just continue down that way in a line. It was really pain today that it was so beautiful because, um, you know, I only just got started doing maneuvers and I already have ATC calling me up and letting me know that there's traffic coming from the north and from the south, which is pretty tough because I'm pretty deep into the practice area here and I really just can't get my own corner of the sky to practice in. I did head out west a little bit further to get away from that traffic and to pick a good area where I could do turn around a point. I had picked out one of the small terrain features out here and I was doing turn around a point and um, I ended up getting called from ATC again. So turn around a point is where you pick a you pick a spot on the ground and you want to be a set distance off of it, like one or two nautical miles. And you're just spinning in a circle around it, maintaining a constant distance. Um, basically the idea is, you know, when you're in the air, the wind is pushing you around. You want to be able to maintain a position in relation to the ground. It helps you with your traffic pattern skills. It's like a fundamental skill for private pilots. So I was just doing turn around a point out here, and then I had ATC calling me up again. and. There was more people coming in from the south and more people coming in from the north. So I got one good iteration in, ended up just calling it, and headed back to Anchorage. So just headed back towards Anchorage right now. Basically constant light turbulence the whole time I was out here. If you're wondering what it feels like in a small airplane, the best way I'd describe it, it feels just like a, like a roller coaster. The same kind of uneasy G-forces on the body kind of feeling. Which, um, personally I'm the kind of guy that gets seasick pretty easily. So I haven't actually thrown up an airplane, but it's not a good time.
Before you get up to the Class D airspace, you've got to uh, call up Merrill, let him know that you're coming, and transition out of uh, Anchorage Approach. This is about my favorite part of uh, coming back in. So right about midway across Cook Inlet, you need to uh, uh, cut power almost down to idle so you can start dropping altitude as you come in over downtown Anchorage so you can just join right up into the uh, Merrill airspace uh, traffic pattern. Usually they have you come in and go straight into right, right traffic which is what I did here today. You get a really nice view of downtown Anchorage in this stage, which is nice because I don't normally see downtown Anchorage since they're so nuts about their parking meters and parking tickets. And here we are, straight into uh, right traffic for Merrill. Personally, I really hate the right traffic pattern. You're right up against the military airspace, so I always end up, you, you gotta take the corner pretty tight. I always end up going wide on it. So I get all splayed out to the south and I have to come back around and get back into, uh, you know, get back lined up on the center line. I ended up correcting the issues pretty well. I was a little bit fast coming over the runway and I got a little bit off the center line. It was a really soft touchdown though. And that was pretty much it. I only wanted to go up for about an hour today. So I didn't end up doing any more, um, you know, I didn't end up doing any touch and goes or full stop and taxi backs. I just called it quits. The next time I go up, I'm going to be practicing a short field takeoff and landing, just staying in the traffic pattern for a full hour. And that's it. So the lesson plan was one hour solo out to the practice area, um, practicing turnaround a point, S turns, and slip to land. And had a great day doing it. It was a nice day to be out flying. You know, the, the turbulence was a bit of a pain, but this is one of the nicer days we've had so far this year. And that wraps up the lesson for today. Had a good time. I'll probably be posting a, a video showing what um, short field, soft field takeoffs and landings look like coming up soon here. So appreciate it. See you around. Check the stone.